Hi, I'm legendary author and YouTube sensation Joyce Nance, and welcome to my show, Joyce Chat. Today we have for you super funny bits on bowling, uh, driving and talking in the car at the same time, uh, an off-key pandemic karaoke song for you. You're really going to love. You're going to want to sing along with it. And uh, we have a uh, guest, Julia Corral, a Portland comedian. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Welcome to a new season of Joyce Chat. And I'm gonna have uh, a two egg any style because I like any style. <laughs> it will be scrambled, that's the style. It needs more sugar. <laughs> Baby Jesus. Okay, I'll try again. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so I like your hoe. You probably feel good. And the eggs. I, I must sum it up now and say it gets like five oh my god. <laughs> So these are my different bowling identities. Some days Joycey bowls better, some days the hammer bowls better. You just never know. These are my bowling identities. All right, these are uh, Chloe's bowling identities. Lord Baldi, Mon Baldi. Mo Monaco, <laughs> Monica Hawaii, L. Hawaii and Jewish. All right. <laughs> Monica L. Okay. All right. Hi, I'm Matt from Matt's Hats and Other Things. And today, the other things are books. Books are the staple of our American foundation and the way of life for all of us who enjoy our freedoms. So be a friend of a library like me and enjoy the books Thanks. Tell us some other things that we should know about you in order to know you better. Like, um, I like clouds. Yeah. I like different kinds of clouds that go fast and slow. That, <laughs> that make, um, I don't know, like cloudy look, cloudy. Have you looked at clouds from both sides? No. <laughs> okay, let me give you my review of this Goodwill in downtown Portland. 
I am super mad right now. I went in there and they were charging $200 for used clothing that they got for free. I am very disgusted by this corporation, Goodwill. The end. So, Julia, um, that is your name, correct? Yes. Where were you born? Um, I was born in Whittier, California. Did you realize that I was also born in Whittier, California? That's so exciting. We're like birthday twins, but different. I know. <laughs> How many kids were in your family? I have one brother, and he's 10 years older than me. So I, I feel sometimes like I have a brother, but then a lot of my life I felt like an only child. Interesting. Well, what did you do in high school to uh, make yourself uh, seem like you were somebody? Oh, I was like a very overachiever. Like school came very like easy to me. I was a cheerleader. Um, I think I, I, um, I was in student body. I was prom coordinator. I was president of a lot of clubs. And I think at like some point, I even like was like, I kept score for the baseball team as well. Oh, I also went to like a huge mega church and I spent most of my weekends proselytizing. What was the name of your church? Evangelical Free Fullerton. It had like 500 kids in our youth group. So it was like going to high school twice. Evangelical? I was because my parents were really strict. But then I like got into drinking and drugs. And so I think I stopped junior, senior year. Not bad drugs either, just fun drugs. Okay, like uh, what's a bad drug? Well, I don't know. I wasn't like doing heroin in high school. Good to know. Um, have you accomplished anything major in your life? I don't think so. I can see that. <laughs> How do you know me? Um, we took a comedy class together. I noticed that you didn't list that as one of the highlights of your life. It's not. Hmm. So this comedy thing uh, that you've been working on, how's that working out for you? I think it's going better uh, than I ever could have uh, imagined. All right, well, I was wondering if you had like a favorite one-liner that you'd like to uh, riff off or however you say that. My breast used to be like uh, food stamps. They would buy me meals all the time, but in fact, they were better than food stamps because I would get alcohol, nicotine, and cash back. <laughs> um, so is there anything I didn't ask you that you would like to add? I, how, many have you, how many comics have you had on the show? You're my first comic because this is my, the first episode of my second season and my previous seasons I did in Las Vegas, but I chose you. Oh, that makes me <laughs> excited. Was that even funny? <laughs> <laughs> Joyce, tell us, what do you think about Chris Matthews? I used to like Chris Matthews until he went insane. How many people do you think in your life are insane? I would say somewhere close to 97%. I'm hoping I'm part of the 3%. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, no. Social distance, toilet paper, drinking problem, craze panic buyer. Life is bad here, badder than my knees. Not as bad as zombies, but watch out for my sneeze. Quarantine, stuck at home. In a place I cannot leave West Vancouver 
in my condo, stuck at home, quarantine. All my peepees gather around me, sexy face masks, lots of soap and water. Dark and deadly, that COVID-19. Hey, hydroxymoron, we need a new vaccine. Quarantine, stuck at home, in a place I cannot leave. West Vancouver, in my condo. Stuck at home, quarantine. Lay off, lady. If Cynthia says she's broken up, she's broken up. And your name again was Big Julie from West Covina. And what is your relationship with the victim? Big Julie. Well, the cops or what? No, I'm not with the police, Dr. Julie. I'm simply trying to help Miss Manachek figure out what happened to her sister. Well, don't grill me, you screw. I didn't do nothing. If you're looking for a likely suspect, I think you're sitting on her couch. What do you mean by that? Not exactly what it sounds like. What? What? So that's it. That's all the funny I got for today. Uh, it was a lot of work, but hey, you guys are worth it. Um, so please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And um, that way you can get so much more of this fun. You can go back and binge watch season one if you want. So we'll see you next time. Au revoir. There ought to be tests.